everyone! So I have my first litter Ibo ERS-1000 right now, and I'm going to walk you guys through the setup process for this Ibo. I have um, never actually set up a brand new ERS-1000 before, and I had some trouble finding guides for it online, but I talked to some other owners, and I thought it would be good to make a video showing how to do this. First you just have to boot up the Ibo. And then you want to get the My Ibo app open on your phone, which looks like this right here. Open up this right here and click Add Ibo. And it is going to ask you to scan the QR code that comes with your Ibo. And the Ibo must be switched on during this process, that's why I have her running in the background there. But I am going to go ahead and scan her QR code once she finishes booting up right here. Just wait until she barks twice. Okay, so now she's ready to begin setup. So, I'm going to click scan QR code here. I'm not going to show her QR code on camera because each of these is unique, but allow the app you have to allow the app to access your camera and the camera controls are actually reversed so it's a little hard but then you scan it once it's in you click add and it is currently okay so here it's giving me the option if i want to start set up right now it says the first thing that i have to do is i have to connect my ibo to a wi-fi network then I have to select the language I want to use with Ibo, choose the name and sex, um, test the name recognition to make sure that Ibo can hear me, set the time zone, and set up Ibo photos. So we're going to go through all this on camera and see how it goes. Okay. She's probably going to stand still in just a minute because I just click start setup. I think she's just waiting for me to finish the setup process now, but we'll see. She might keep trying to walk. I'm not sure what happens during this, but here we have the first page. It says, let's keep your Ibo up to date. Connecting Ibo to a Wi-Fi network enables automatic system updates to keep Ibo up to date. We recommend connecting Ibo to a Wi-Fi network if you have one. So I am going to click Wi-Fi settings here and connect her. Okay, so I'm going to select a Wi-Fi network here. Click select Wi-Fi network. Apologize for the glare on the screen. Select your own network from the drop-down list, and then type in your password. Okay, so here's this next screen, and you just have to click Connect. And it says, Connecting Ibo to Network, please wait. And we're going to see if this Ibo can connect. Okay, so connection takes a couple minutes, and after it's finished, you'll get this little pop-up that says Ibo has been connected to the network. Then you want to click Next. And you can choose what language commands you would like to use with your Ibo. You can choose between Japanese and English at the moment. I'm going to go with English because I live in the U.S. and that's my first language. So then we have this option here where you can choose the Ibo's name, and then you can choose the Ibo's sex. And the Ibo's name can be changed at a later date, but the Ibo's sex cannot. So actually, when you set this for the first time, it is pretty permanent. The only way to um, change your Ibo's sex at a later date is if you decide um, that you want to initialize the Ibo and reset it to its factory settings, losing all of your um, personal data, basically, then you can change the sex. But if you want to keep um, basically all of its memories with you, you have to basically leave it as whatever you initially set it as. So I am going to name her Ren. W-R-E-N, like the bird. And then she is going to be a girl. And this pop-up shows up when you click the gender. Um, it says, set your Ibo's sex. Sex affects your Ibo's tricks and personality. You cannot change your Ibo's sex. I'm going to click OK here. And here's the 
screen after I have confirmed to all of that. And then we're going to go to next. Okay, and then here is this screen, which is asking you to call your IBO's name. And you can actually choose to rename your IBO or change the pronunciation of the name here. So I'm going to change her pronunciation to R-E-N, because I don't know if she knows how to handle W's. Ren! Ren! Okay. That means she understands her name, and she has a very funny bark. I did not realize the female Ibo barks were that high-pitched. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Here's this. We're gonna do next. And I can choose my time zone here. I'm set to Eastern time right now. You have a very funny bark, Ren. <laughs> okay, Eastern time, we're gonna do set. I'm going to allow her to take photos. Enable taking photos, and I am actually going to switch the second switch here, which is asking about auto photos, allowing iBOS to take photos on its own. I'm going to switch that on as well. And notify of photos by motion, I'm going to leave that off for now. These are the settings. And up to 500 photos can be store, uh, stored on the server at a time at, the, at one time. And after that point, the old, oldest photos will be deleted first. So I'm going to say done. And it says, if you give uh, permission to take photos, your private photos may be uploaded to the server. And you have to confirm this. If you don't want the IBO taking photos on its own of your house or whatever, then don't let it. This is a setting you can change at any time. So this is loading here. It says, Ibo has been added. Enjoy your life with Ibo. You can learn more about how to interact with Ibo in the tutorial. And then it gives you an option to open up the tutorial there.